uh, to determination test three. Determination test three. Did on determination test three. You are provided with uh, two salts A and B, and uh, an organic compound C. Carry out uh, the following test on the A, B, and the C, recording your observations and the inferences in the table. Then answer the questions that follow the table. A. Carry out a flame test on a small portion of A. Yeah. Uh, you know, as I told you, you need uh, hydrochloric acid to carry out the flame test. You need uh, an nichrome wire to do that too. So for that purpose, when you take the nichrome wire, you dip into hydrochloric acid, then into the into the salt, then you take it uh, closer to the blue section of the Bunsen burner, you will get the color of uh, the uh, the color of the salt. And uh, when you go to your confirmation uh, confirmatory booklet, you will see under the section of uh, the flame test section of it, you will see the cation that is uh, 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 in line with your observation. So when I did that, uh, I saw that it was, there was a, uh, a golden yellow coloration. There was a golden yellow coloration. That's a yellow color indicating the presence of um, a sodium ion. So. In my inference uh, column of uh, the question paper, there is, well, I put it there, sodium ion present. Sodium ion present. Now, the P section of it, dissolve about three quarters of uh, A in five cm cube of water. Use, remember, remember to use, but uh, deionized water. I mean the distilled water, please. Do not use uh, tap water, distilled or deionized water. Use portions of the solution for the following test. To 2 cm cube of the solution of A, add aqueous sodium hydroxide. Then add a few pieces of uh, aluminum foil under heat. Okay, as I told you, on heating, always observe whether there is fizzing. Always observe whether there is fizzing. If you see bubbles of gas, then you can conclude that effervescence observed. Then, and when you see that, as I told you, always endeavor to test the gas that is being produced. You will be provided with uh, the Lindmos paper. You have to test the gas to see if it is uh, acidic or is alkaline. So I did that. I did, there was effervescence that was observed. Then. Uh, on testing with a litmus paper, it turns red litmus paper blue. And the conclusion on my inference section of uh, the question paper is, is alkaline gas. Is alkaline gas. So, it takes us to the C section of the question. On the C section of the question, you will see to the remainder of the original A, add dilute sulfuric acid. Add dilute sulfuric acid. Okay. Uh, you should uh, see that on adding dilute sulfuric acid, observation, that turns blue litmus paper red, uh, brown gas evolved. Okay. On the inference section, Put it there, it's acidic gas that is being released. The gas is acidic. And uh, looking at your confirmatory book, like you will see it is sodium dioxide that is uh, gas that is present. Uh, sodium dioxide gas, or sodium, uh, um, excuse me, it's a nitrogen dioxide gas that is present. Or nitrogen fog uh, oxide that is present. Okay, uh, D part of it, reserve about one quarter of your sample of B for test G. To the remainder of B, add dilute hydrochloric acid in a boiling tube. In a boiling tube, 
keep the resulting mixture or solution for test E under F. Or on, on doing that, my observation was effervescence, a colorless gas, and uh, the gas ten lime water murky. You could say a ten lime water murky. You could also mention that there was a cloudy, a cloudy um, uh, solution. Any cloudy solution is an indication of a white precipitate. So, effervescence, a colorless gas, and uh, turning lime water murky. On the inference section, the ions, possible ions, will have CO3 2 minus, will have HCO3 minus. Those are the possible anions that are there. And then for the gas, under the inference section, you will also put carbon dioxide produced. So the examiner will, uh, uh, will look that all these are being produced, uh, are presented in that order, and the examiner will give you the maps allocated for that. It takes us to the E part of the question. Uh, the E section of the question says, uh, to 2 cm cube of the mixture or solution resulting from test D at aqueous sodium hydroxide. Observation. My observation was white precipitates are formed. On adding that, white precipitates are formed. And I told you in my uh, uh, in my introductory part of the uh, the video, I told you when precipitates are formed, it when precipitates are formed, it is obligatory to add to excess. When precipitates are formed, it is obligatory to add aqueous sodium hydroxide um, uh, to excess to ensure whether the precipitate can dissolve in excess. And uh, on adding it, I told you white precipitate were formed and uh, insoluble in excess. Then on my inference section, uh, the cations, the cadmium or uh, magnesium ion are present. Also calcium, barium are present. Uh, then The conclusion is, it is a meta hydroxide, uh, um, a group two meta hydroxide, MOH2. Where M is a meta, it, it is a group two meta hydroxide that is uh, there. So the F section of it uh, reads to 2 cm cube of the mixture or solution resulting from test D add dilute sulfuric acid. On doing this, I observed that there were also white precipitates that were formed. White precipitates were formed. And uh, on the inference column, the metal sulfate is also present. And the possible cations there are uh, calcium ion and barium ion are present. Calcium and barium ion are present there. Yeah. So uh, the identity for A, the identity for A is uh, sodium nitrite, and uh, uh, the identity for B is tantrum carbonate. It's a carbonate of uh, group two. It's a carbonate of uh, group two element. Uh, 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 it's a carbonate of group two element. So now uh, the second part of it sketch the sketch the simplest possible displayed formula for um, uh, sketch the possible the uh, uh, sketch the simplest uh, possible displayed uh, formula for C remember for C I said a C a C could be uh, a ketone or an other height so the most um, uh, uh, the, the most an example of a displayed this thing for, a displayed formula for C I said it's a ketone so the ketone is supposed to be uh, a ketone is supposed to be an arrow there are two arrow one and the arrow two then a double bond a C double bond O 
you can give an example as this one. An example here is uh, um, uh, butan, butan 2 own. That is an example. Butan 2 own is an example of it. But the most, the simplest answer for it is arrow, uh, the, this arrow, um, um, carbon, a double bond O and uh, arrow 2. So there are two archive groups, then carbon and a double bond, a carbon, a double bond oxygen. There are two archive groups, R1, R2, then a carbon, um, uh, a carbon and a double bond oxygen. That is the simplest formula you can give for a keto. But if you want to give an example, you can give this one, which is butan 2 own. This is an example of butan 2, an example of a keto. So, uh, thank you for that. Then, for more information, uh, for more information, uh, you can uh, uh, you can copy the link for qualitative analysis, especially for past exam revision question, and uh, put it on YouTube, and uh, you observe all uh, more of our um, uh, lectures on a qualitative analysis. Uh, then for Acid-based uh, uh, titration exam revision question. We have about three links. The first one, uh, we have three links. You copy them, put on YouTube. You will see more of those exams uh, questions and how they can be answered. Then for redox titration, for redox titration, we have uh, two links for redox titration. You also copy them, put on YouTube and uh, watch them and you will see more uh, 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 more of it there so uh, once more i want to appreciate uh, uh, those of you who have subscribed uh, to our channel for a job well done for those of you who have not um, subscribed uh, please uh, like the video share to fellow learners and also subscribe to our channel for future uh, tutorial and uh, tutorial lessons as well as a laboratory practical lessons thank you very much for watching wishing you uh, good luck in your exam